Hello, YouTube! Flash Notion, the Ponified Talking Head, back with another reaction video! And this time we have episode 22 of season 7, or no, 23, sorry, messed that up. I messed that up so much. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so yeah, episode 23, entitled Secrets and Pies. And that is obviously a play on the phrase Secrets and Spies. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so far, every single thumbnail that I have seen for this episode has been of Pinkie Pie making the craziest faces yet. Like, we've seen a lot of crazy faces in this show, and especially a lot of crazy Pinkie Pie faces, but these are taking it to another level. <laughs> so, I honestly have no idea what this episode's actually about. Now... I have been seeing some stuff on FIM Fiction about Scootaloo's ants. Like, her mother, her parents' sisters or something like that? I, I don't know what the deal is. Um, they seem to be implying that they're com some kind of a couple, but I don't even know, okay? Like, I don't know if that's this episode, the next episode. It's going to be one of those two because, I mean, there's only two left before the finale, but... I, I don't know. If it is this episode, cool. If it's not this episode, why do people insist on spoiling stuff like that? Whatever. I, I you know, you guys know I love Pinkie Pie, so I am very much looking forward to seeing whatever this episode is actually about. And I envision that there's going to be a fair amount to talk about, regardless. So, why hold off? <laughs> so. We'll just get started in three, two, one, play. Okay, all we need is a dot of salt, a dab of sugar, and a sprig of ginger. Uh, <laughs> are those real oh. measurements? How do you keep track without a recipe? Pie baking is more art than science. And oh, be my she's name. actually making a pie. We'll celebrate Rainbow Dash's 73rd wonderful training session. 73rd? That's specific. I know. The pie is blueberry because Wonderbolt outfits are blue. The crust is rainbow, for obvious reasons. But the most <laughs> special part is the 73 super secret sweets and spices that represent each training session. <laughs> um, 73? Brown sugar, pink sugar, sweet root apple, jelly berry, mash, and a towel. You sure are going to a lot of trouble for Rainbow Dash's pie. Yeah. That's because I know how much she loves them. Also... Could that get any more sexual? Isn't that for the pie? Twilight, that's hilarious. You don't mix chocolate into a blueberry pie. This is my midnight no. pie making chocolate fuel that keeps this pie baking train chugging down the tracks. Did Discord make that chocolate milk? And wow. <laughs> this is adorable on so many levels, but yeah. So, um, I know that Pinky Dash is a ship, but like, I, I'm more into Rare Pie than that, or Twi Pie, but <laughs> I don't know. That just seems so. Maybe I'm just dirty minded today, but that 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 really did just seem unnecessarily. Like that. Like, why Why does it have to be a pie? Why couldn't it have been a cake? <laughs> like, if it had been a cake, it would have been okay, more okay than that. Wow. But... Good hey! Sky Stinger and Vapor Trail! You really added that sparkle to that pressure diamond drop. <gasps> oh. Oh, I, I mean, 75th one made more sense. Also, like, this is her parents' job. There's a bomb in that. SpongeBob reference. She does not like 
pinky pies, does she? Weird rainbow thing on the ground, actually. I knew she'd love it. Um, is that, is that? <laughs> you lost a balloon, Pinky. No, she doesn't. Obvious conflict is obvious, but... Um, right? Aww. That pie couldn't have been the one I made. I must be seeing things. I did have a lot of chocolate this morning. What if I was seeing things? What if that was my pie? That would be bananas. Hmm. I mean, this is actually a very big deal. I mean, we're in the party cave right now, and, like, Pinky's thing is that she knows every pony's favorite things. It's like, no, that's, that's stupid. You just... What? Right? <gasps> Another pie? Thank you so much. Wait a minute. What's that? Huh. Guess it was nothing. <laughs> awesome. Three lemon meringues. Uh, hey, what's that over there? Uh, 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 oh, never mind. How did I'm just hey, pies. Why? What is this? Also, Rainbow. Oh, it's not even my birthday. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't. What is this episode? That custard was everything. I didn't even notice. I didn't even look at who wrote it, but this is. One of my pies. And do I always look when somebody points behind me? What's there? <laughs> Good one. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> but this <laughs> and that return of that hat. <laughs> Pinkie Pie can make anyone nervous. Also, investigation? as chief detective on the Pie case, I've labeled you all ponies of interest, so it's best you tell me everything you know. Well, we have been getting mysterious monthly pie donations. <gasps> Would you be able to pick these pies out of a lineup? I hear Rainbow Dash's pet tortoise tank has been having tummy troubles. When did it start? About a week ago. Poor Tank had all the telltale signs of sugar overload. Jittery shell, sleeplessness, reptilian indigestion. Hmm. And this all happened the day after I made Rainbow Dasha. Thanks for lending me your jacket, Peach Pie. See? So she fed it to Tank? <laughs> Poor Tank. But the picture isn't pretty. <gasps> Notice a P alliteration pie. Is that everything, Doctor? Well, there's also this. Interesting. Really? Have the lab analyzed the flavor of that pie? No, but you know, Miss Cheerily was in here not long ago. The class hamster was having similar symptoms. <gasps> Perhaps it's a pie pandemic. Perhaps. And I just might know Pony Patient Zero. <sighs> Dr. Fawn is right. I do always have to remind the foals and fillies not to share the pies with the class hamster. Animals just can't digest pony food. Indeed. But where do these pies come from? 
Well, they're from Rainbow Dash. She drops off her day after Rainbow Dash's half birthday pie every year. Did you say the day after her half birthday? Very, very interesting. Because I give her a pie on her half birthday every year. And I have a feeling it's the same pie. Well, wherever it comes from, the students just love it. I'm so glad. At least I can be sure some pony is. Hmm. She didn't eat the blueberry. <laughs> she didn't just... eat the banana. She didn't eat the cream and she didn't eat the chocolate. Did she ever? Why Why does she yeah. assume that and Rainbow she likes she her pies? I mean. It's been going on for years. She really said so herself. If there's one thing I know, I can't escape the truth. Rainbow Dash doesn't like your pies. Now, normally I'd be angry with an episode for taking this long to get to an obvious conclusion, but it's Pinkie Pie. She has to do her own logic, and it. Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie. Whoa. I'm not again. <laughs> oh, party planning cave. Right. Like, I like that the slide operates on pinky logic. Screaming for fun. Screaming is fun, but I'm not okay. I've been making Rainbow Dash pies for years, but she doesn't even like them. She's been lying to me. But every pony loves your pies. They're the greatest thing since... Except I maybe Rainbow Dash. Dash. And I could swear I've seen her eat one of your pies before. Have you really? Um, I thought I had. <laughs> why I said it? Are you sure? Maybe I haven't. Exactly. Because <laughs> Well, it might be that she only likes one specific kind of pie. I don't know. This is ridiculous, but oh. Bring forth the worst tasting food in all of Equestria. What is this? What is this? Number one, why does she look so different from everyone else? Number two, why does she have laser vision? Number three, just what is this episode? <laughs> I don't even know. I really don't think that's what's happening. I think Ashley Ball had a lot of fun with that one. <laughs> well, I've got just the thing to get your mind off all this madness. We've had a great apple harvest, so I was hoping you could whip up a few of your delicious pies. Yes, I will make pies. Lots of pies. I'm going to make Rainbow Dash so many pies, it'll force her to admit the truth. Or I'll catch her in the act of getting rid of them. Operation Pie of Lies is a go. Thanks, Applejack. I knew I could count on you to come up with a plan. I don't know uh. what I did. Also, uh, how do you get out of here? Go up the slide. <laughs> I'm sorry. That took me a moment to actually realize what was going on, but that is... I've never heard of Wake Your Friends Up Day. Well, it's unofficial, but I made you your favorite part. Every pinky holiday is unofficial. Gifts are the second most important part of Wake Your Friends Up Day. What's the first most important part? Accepting the gifts and enjoying them immediately. Uh, well, I'm sorry I forgot about Wake Your Friends Up Day. Let me make it up to you. Here. Achoo! She has an automatic pie disposal. Achoo! Oh, that's just wrong. Number one. You mean where did it the... go? <laughs> How? Where? When? <laughs> That's kind of mean to Tank. I thought you'd love Tank. wonderful training session. Here's a pie. Now eat it. Okay, this is getting a little out of hook. I haven't even trained yet. Well, I wanted to pre-celebrate because I already know how great you're gonna do. Eat the pie. Well. <laughs> eat the pie. That's going to be. <laughs> Always look both ways before crossing the runway. Sorry, man. 
ma'am, but we have to make sure you didn't sustain any internal injuries. Holy crap! That's actually true. Like, that's standard thing there. Fly up there and grab her. Don't worry, I got ya. All right, or you can see me that way. You gotta be more careful, okay? <laughs> Oops. Oh dear. What? Where the, how did you, delicious. You did it again, Pinky. Just tell her that something is wrong. Rainbow like Oh, oh know. dear lord. You're the only one who hasn't eaten hers yet. So here, your pie. You need to eat. Now. That main style has not been seen since um Coloratura was here, and that's terrifying, actually. What the hell? You sure you don't have to blink? Me? Nope. I'm not much of a blinker. Don't mind me. Ugh! Take a bite! That's just... Gah! I'm speechless. Right now, Rainbow. This is. <laughs> this is actually a very big deal. I mean, she's been lying to Pinkie Pie for years. Like. Right. Sorry. It's opposite day. I can't help but laugh. Hate washing, and I know today's not opposite day because I bake you a pie for it every year. A pie that you probably just throw away. Why? Why? Or destroy with your laser eyes while laughing at me. Laser eyes. Oh, oh. Well, so you I mean, superhero no, Rainbow Dash, I but. Jeez. A part of me really wants to criticize this for violating some prior, like, lesson or something, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like it. It just feels very... Like a real issue. Is there anything else you're lying about that we should know? No! Well, not that I can think of off the top of my head. Is it my... She tells little fibs all the time. She's not the element of honesty, Applejack. Making pies, and if I told her I didn't like them, I would have crushed 
crushed her. Uh, you kind of crushed her anyway. Probably worse than just telling her you don't like pies because if you don't, if you tell her that you don't like pies, she'll make you something else. She's Pinkie Pie. Wait, that's it. Bake her a pie. I can make it up to her. By baking, um, that. No. What is that? Oh, it's you. Pinkie Pie, wait. I know now that I should have been honest with you from the start because What is that friends... thing behind her? And because getting rid of all the It looks pies was a giant horrifying. Pie. I mean, do you have any idea how many pies you've made for me over the years? Yes, I know exactly how many. I have a very detailed piling system. Of course <laughs> you do. The point is I thought the hassle that was worth pun was unnecessary. Feelings, but I was wrong. So, to make up for it, I made this pie for you. <laughs> well, I guess I made it for me, to eat in front of you. Point is, I'm eating this pie for friendship. Wait, that smelly circular monstrosity is a pie? Yeah! I know I can't go back and eat all the pies you made for me in the past, so instead, I'm gonna eat this giant one for you now. So, here Pinky, don't let her do that. That thing is. Uh, wait! I can't watch you do this. Yeah. No, like. That crust or some kind of concrete? Yeah, honestly, I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> Where did you even get that thing? Who helped you make it? Like, Applejack knows how to make pies. I think I finally understand why you lied. Whoa, what's that? Huh, guess it was nothing. Because <laughs> it made Pinky happy that you enjoyed them, yeah. Oh, never mind. Okay, we don't really need to see this again. No way. Nothing. But that custard was everything. Seeing you eat my pies makes me the happiest pony in all the Questria! <laughs> I know Obvious that. answer is obvious. <laughs> you did a lot of ridiculous and overly complex things to get rid of my pies. Because it made you Also, you made Tank sick. Uh, uh, like pet owners are not going to forgive you for that very easily. <laughs> Um Just remember, in the future you can always be honest with me. Uh I could have told her that. Yeah. <laughs> you deserve that, Rainbow. Hey, how about this? Your hugs are too tight. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Okay. Well, <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna real quick go back and take a look at um, the try to take a look at the writer just a second here Maybe, no no that's not the writer no that's not it yeah, there's that and now there's that okay do they not have the writers at the end of the episode I guess not Okay, I'm going to go back to the very beginning and try to find the, uh, the writer. Okay, okay, okay. Bear with me here for a moment, okay? I'm, I, I didn't look at the beginning, and I really want to know who did this, because if it's one of the n new writers or even an old writer... Huh. Okay... Come on, where's the writer? Written by Josh Hamilton. Okay, I know he's written some stuff before. Uh, okay, but one thing I definitely noticed going back through right there was that uh, the ladies... 
Joanna Lewis and Christine Sanko, were, they weren't the story editors on this one. It was only Josh Haber. And um got to say, this is one of the weirder episodes of the season, I think. Um, and probably not going to be one of my favorites, I don't think, either. Uh, yeah, just odd. Like, on the one hand, this is a huge communication failure between Rainbow and Pinkie Pie. And I feel like that's something that's been covered in this show before, is communication failure. On the other hand, even worse than just a communication failure, it's straight up lying to your friend for years about something right there. And yet, at the same exact time, it's very obvious why Rainbow did it, why, why she was doing it. And that is because she wanted... She didn't... She knew how happy it made Pinkie Pie to give Rainbow Dash the... Or to give... Rainbow knew how happy it made Pinkie to give her the pies, to see her eat them and enjoy them, and just... Like... Your grandma gets you socks or whatever on Christmas every year. Like, you might not like that. Like, you might prefer toys or something, but... Your, it's your grandma getting it for you, and you, nobody's going to want to say to their grandpa, you know, or grandma, grandpa, whatever, your grandparents, you're not going to tell your grandparents that their gift sucks, or that you don't like the gift, just because you don't actually like it. You're going to fake enjoying it, just so that they can be happy. Like, at least, in, as far as I know, like, I wouldn't do it, personally. If you would, I'd probably call you a little bit heartless. I mean, at the very least, don't do it on Christmas. Like, maybe hint to them before next Christmas that you actually want a toy instead. I don't know. Maybe just be grateful that you're getting new clothes that you don't have to pay for for Christmas. Like, yeah, <laughs> definitely as I've gotten older, i realized that gifts of clothing and stuff are actually very, very good to get on Christmas and birthdays. <laughs> you do not appreciate them enough when you're younger. Uh, but, uh, no, like, I I suppose the weirdest thing about this is that it just seems to come out of nowhere. Like, like, Applejack we've seen making pies. In fact, Applejack's apple pies have been a fairly big part of the series all throughout the entire series. Well, originally they were Granny Smith's pies. Then Applejack started making them. And one that I definitely remember is last season, uh, Applejack's Day Off, one of the things that she was doing was baking, like, a dozen pies for Spike. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, just, it's just, Applejack is the pie maker. Pinky has always been cupcakes and regular cakes and all kinds of, like, super sugary sweet confections like that. But pies have never really been the thing that she makes, ironically enough, considering her name. Um, now, I'm not opposed to the idea of her making pies, it's just that the fact that she makes one for Rainbow Dash every year, and for so long now, and whatnot, it's just, it, it, it feels odd. <laughs> um, I, I also want to say this, like, in that flashback to Rainbow's birthday, if that... That, it was kind of implied that that was her last birthday. But all the decorations that were around them looked like Pinky's Pride, which was Rainbow Dash's birth anniversary, which was several seasons ago and should have been several years ago. At least as far as I'm concerned. So, that's weird. At the same time, like... At the same time, like, you've got that thing that's implying that, oh, it's only been one year since Pinky, or less than a year since Pinky Pride. At the same time, however, uh, you've got Pinky saying that she's been baking Rainbow Dash these pies for years, and back in the very beginning of the series, like, episode five, Rainbow Dash wanted nothing to do with Pinky Pie. So, clearly, like, baking a pie for Rainbow Dash is something that Pinkie Pie would only have done after the two of them became good friends, 
Which means that it should have been years since the beginning of the series, at least. Now, I would not use years to refer to anything less than probably about four or five years total. So, I, I, I don't know. The timeline in the show has always been weird, but it gets weirder to me when you have contradictory things in the same episode. <laughs> Other than that, um, yeah, there, there were a lot of crazy, crazy faces in this one. Uh, Pinkie Pie's all throughout, pretty much, and Rainbow Dash's got that way at the end. And, yeah, there, I'm sure there is going to be memes out of this. I'm tempted to make a few of my own. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think, like, the ending is not how I probably would have wrote the ending of this. My ending, though, probably would have been a bit more cliched. But, at the same time, it probably would have resolved it a little bit better, I think, I want to say. Um... Just, overall, this was a very odd episode, introducing something that wasn't there before, and then resolving it, but not really, and it, yeah, it's it's just weird. I liked seeing the return of characters like Dr. Fauna, um, oh, that, that just reminds me, though, like, Tank. I'm not really sure how to feel about that, just... That, that's, like, one thing that definitely bugs me about this episode. Is Rainbow Dash just kind of treating Tank like a personal garbage disposal? That's just not right. And, like, I can picture Pinkie Pie doing that with Gummy. But because it's Pinky and Gummy, I can picture it working out just fine. But, like, Rainbow Dash is feeding Tank these pies. And that's causing him to have to go to the vet. And that's just wrong. Like, I can imagine if Fluttershy found out about that, she'd just be like, Rainbow Dash, what is wrong with you? And just... Yeah, it's just... It it bugs me now. But... I, I don't know. Like, Rainbow Dash has always been very insensitive, so... I... I don't know. Um... You, you might have noticed, though, that a good portion of this episode was me just going, what the hell? Because between Pinkie Pie's Imagine Spot with, like, super villain Rainbow Dash and then all of the expressions and whatnot, it's just, yeah, there's some crazy, crazy stuff going on in this episode. Uh, and then... Oh, and then what else happened? (laughs) You know, yeah, that's another thing. Like, this episode doesn't have a lot of substance to it. It introduces this this conflict, and then it's very obvious, to me at least, what's going on very, very quickly. Like, pretty much as soon as... uh, As soon as Pinky started trying to give Rainbow the pie, I was like... Rainbow doesn't like your pies. And in fact, I think I I think I said that like a little bit earlier than that, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I, I caught on to that fact very, very quickly. And I, I I mean I'm okay with the route that Pinkie Pie had to take to get it. It's just it it felt very weird to include all of that in the episode. Like it might have been a little bit easier if like replacing all of that investigative stuff and Pinkie Pie with the cra- board full of crazy like have it be that there was another character for her to play off of where she's like racking her brain trying to figure this out doing the Pinky logic but then another character maybe Twilight maybe Applejack doesn't really matter but one of those other one of these other characters who uses normal logic, comes up with, hey, Pinky, Rainbow Dash doesn't like your pies, and Pinky's just like, oh my gosh, I've just figured it out. Rainbow Dash doesn't like my pies. And it's like like that joke of Pinkie Pie getting it on her own after somebody has already pointed it out to her, and they're just like, wait, that's what I said. 
I mean, it's a classic joke, and it's probably a little bit overused, but at the same time, it would have probably fit the pacing of the story a little bit better. It would have been a quick, cheap laugh, and then we could have gone on and just done everything a bit faster and had a bit more going on in the actual story. Like, like I kind of feel like there was a the escalation of Pinky's antics went on a more exponential curve as opposed to a straight escalation, which would have made a little bit more sense, I feel like. Um, it's it, it was just like there were, towards the end, there were a couple of very big jumps in what Pinkie Pie was trying to do, and it, it just didn't feel like it worked. Other than that, uh, I feel like I need to have watched this episode a couple more times before talking. I, I've kind of gotten used to now the last couple of weeks I've been pausing or like having to take a break in between watching it and then talking. So I, I feel like I need to watch this again just to let everything sink in. But at the same time, I know it's all in my brain. So I'm having to do my own sort of logic to get through all of this. Uh, um, right, that, there was another angle I was going to approach it from, uh, well, given how I feel about Pinkie Pie, uh, how do I feel about this episode in relation to that? Um, honestly, I'm very okay with it, like, like I said, the, that part, her investigating and her having to take all that time to figure it out, it felt very right. It felt just like something that Pinkie Pie would do. Like, it wasn't out of character or anything. Pinkie Pie, throughout this entire episode, actually, was, like, it felt right. Like, we don't get to see her get angry all that often, but Rainbow Dash lying to her for years and, you know, not liking these this thing that she's poured so much effort into, it, it would be enough to make anybody angry, I feel like. So, yeah, and I, on that note, um, I also like the little touch that Applejack, as the element of honesty, has her own little bit of disdain for what Rainbow's been doing. Like, come on, girl, you can't lie to your friends like that. <laughs> Maybe that's, what, that's what's bugging me about this episode, is because the other one recently that I remember that focused on communication, unfortunately enough, was Pony Point of View, and it was pointed out to both or to both Applejack and Pinkie Pie in that episode that communication is key. Applejack should have been the one to tell Pinkie, hey, remember what Twilight told us? Go ahead and actually tell Rainbow Dash that you know, that you think that she, you, she doesn't like your pies. Or, like, go up and ask her straight up, do you, Rainbow Dash, do you actually like my pies? And that would have gotten this whole thing over so much more quickly. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It just... Maybe maybe it was more along the lines of Applejack didn't actually believe that Rainbow Dash didn't like the pies. And she had to actually see it play out for herself. I, I don't know. And that it, it, it just it feels very weird as an episode. And that probably means it's going to be in the lower half. <laughs> Unfortunately enough. Huh. So... I I guess that's about it. I guess I guess that all of this means that the Scootaloo thing that I mentioned at the very beginning that's actually going to be next week, huh? Interesting. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait a week to figure out that, and that probably means there's going to be more spoilers up. But wait, wasn't next week supposed to be the? Yeah, next week is supposed to be Maud and freaking. I am so confused at the moment. Because, like, the thing that I saw for episode 24 was that there was Maud and Sunburst. Unless that was for the finale? I don't even know anymore. What the heck? This is so confusing. Why did everything have to leak? Who leaked all of these episodes anyways? Like, this is this is frustrating. Ugh. <sighs> Whatever. At least, at least the movie stuff has been contained pretty well. Like, people haven't really been posting a lot of spoilers about the movies. Or, like, they've been doing it in a way that I've been able to av- actually avoid the spoilers. So, that's that's good. I, I don't know. I just have to keep that up for a few more months. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, if copyright crap wasn't an issue, I would definitely react to it now, except, you know, not a good, there's not a good quality version. <laughs> but, I mean, it would be kind of cool, like, if I could, like, go to a theater and be like, hey, I'm a YouTube reactor, would it be alright if I set up a camera in the theater facing me, and not the screen, but facing me, and record myself watching the movie? Like, how, how cool would that be? I kind of want to see somebody try that. They'd probably get, they'd probably still get kicked out, but, I mean, why not? <laughs> why not try it, at least? I haven't heard of anybody trying it. Um, so yeah. Uh, secrets and pies. There wasn't really anything of a, well, I want to say that the title doesn't really fit, but, I mean, I guess it technically does. It's all about pies, definitely, and Rainbow Dash had a secret, but it didn't really remain a secret. Maybe maybe that's the other thing. Like, before I watched it, I kind of had this idea in my head that this would kind of be like a follow-up on uh, Green Isn't Your Color from the Pinkie Pie angle, where she was like, everybody has to keep all their secrets, you know? But I guess we kind of got that way back in, uh, what was it? The one where Pinkie Pie knows. That episode from season 5. So, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I, I guess this might be a case of uh, I hyped myself up in a little bit on the internal side. And I didn't even realize it was happening. So now my enjoyment of the episode has gone down. I mean, I still enjoyed it, I'd say. Like, it, there was a lot of fun stuff in it. And Pinkie Pie was a, both adorable and terrifying, as she should be. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. And, uh, I hope you come back next week. In the meantime, I'm I'm just gonna check out here for a little while. Uh, see you later.